first as the investigation continues into last month's deadly drug raid. So the Houston Police Department says it will no longer use no-knock warrants, and this comes after the raid that left two people dead and four police officers shot. An affidavit first obtained by Channel 2 on Friday alleges the case agent, Officer Gerald Goines, lied in order to get the judge to sign that no-knock warrant. Channel 2's Vincent Crivelli joining us live with the latest this morning. Vincent. Good morning. Last night, the police chief revealed he's already in the process of two big changes. However, this town hall was still contentious, the emotion spilling over. Yes, ma'am. Why are we here? Why? Members of the audience up in arms over the no-knock warrant that led to the deadly shooting on Harding Street in January. You don't know that story. Okay, okay, okay. okay. The police chief listened and declared officers would start wearing body cameras during raids and he would put an end to no-knock warrants, but the audience wasn't satisfied. Excuse me. Uh, okay, let's, let's, hold on, we're gonna, time out. This woman lived by Dennis Tuttle and Regina Nicholas, who were killed in the shootout last month. I don't know if someone's gonna knock down my door and shoot my dogs and kill me and my husband. The police chief visibly frustrated. Let me finish it. And shouted some of his responses back. If you think you're mad, I'm here to tell you, you ain't no more mad than I am. The chief says charges are likely coming to at least one officer stemming from the Harding Street shootout. I believe he's innocent of any crime. Nicole DeBoard is the attorney for HPD officer Gerald Goines, the officer accused of lying on the affidavit used to get the no-knock warrant. She says as of right now, he hasn't been charged with anything. We haven't gotten into any particular accusation because there is no accusation. There are all kinds of rumors and all kinds of speculation. And the chief says no knock warrants will end immediately. He also says officers will start wearing body cameras while executing search warrants in the next couple of weeks. Reporting live in East Houston, Vincent Crivelli, KPRC, Channel 2 News.